then let's talk about the next one which is a or gate so similarly in a or gate also uh, we have a truth table now if if a is changing from 0 to 1 then you can see y is changing from 0 to 1 second combination is 0 to 1 y is changing from 1 to 1 so that means either there will be a change at the output which is going to follow a so a is changing from 0 to 1 y is changing from 0 to 1 or there will be no change at the y so this is the or gate now if you will see in terms of the waveform so you are applying a positive you are applying a rising edge it will pass and it will give you a rising edge if b equals to 0 if it it will give you a constant output which is a 1 that means you can say like there is a no change in the output similarly the same trend is happening in case of b also rising edge you are getting rising edge or there is no change that you are applying falling edge you are getting a falling edge or there is no change similarly for the b pin also and i can summarize this in this way like rising input rising output rising input or no change or falling input falling output falling input no change so that means this is also a positive unit so now if you will see from the and gate the previous slide and the or gate this particular slide the input and output combination the a to y and b to y both are in both the cases it is a positive unit so now we are not talking about in terms of the in terms of the function because for the function for the logic basically for the logic what is required so we need both the input and then only we can talk about the logical output now when we are talking about from the uh, timing perspective then we don't need the other pin also so from the a how much time it will take i'm just checking that particular part from the b how much time it will take i'm checking that particular part and that's the reason like when we are doing uh, in in our, the whole vlsi flow you will see like the logically optimization functionally optimization or we always talk about the logic or we always talk about the functions so when we are talking about the functionally correct so that means we are talking about in terms of uh, the timing perspective so from the timing perspective whether we are i am getting the right function at the right time or not or from the logic perspective it is just a logic like whether i am getting uh, the and gate nand gate the way the logical flow anything where i'm going to do some logical analysis a logical calculation the things will be different but when we are talking about from the timing point of view the, the process the algorithm to calculate the different delays or doing the different calculation that will be different because there it is a black box is just a black box the, for the tool it is a black box there is a two pin there is a one output pin this is a this is b and this is y so what tool need to know tool need to know like okay this this is a positive unit this is also a positive unit and it, it is going to take two nanosecond it is going to take two nanosecond done for the or gate also it is same for the and gate also it is same so this is basically the the way things become simple and uh, if i'm going to do any analysis on the timing side uh, i can do very fast so i'm not supposed to worry whether it is about the or gate or it is all about the and gate what i am supposed to do like i have to just apply a rising edge at a or the falling edge at uh, a and then uh, as per the data which is provided by the developer like you will get a rising edge at y and you will get this rising edge after two nanosecond 
so i will do the analysis with respect to that that's all like our uh, facebook page youtube channel for more such updates thank you for watching be expert by expert best of luck